Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. The small circles each have an area of one and wants to know what's the area of the larger circle. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. First, from this tangent line, let's draw this radius and call it little r. And we're given that the area of this circle is one, so that means pi little r squared will be equal to one. This looks important, let's put a box around it. And now for the larger circle, let's get rid of the question mark and let's draw the radius here that touches the tangent line and let's call it big R. Since we're trying to find out what is the area of this larger circle, we ultimately want to know what is pi big R squared. And this is also important, let's put a box around it. And to save room, let's put these side by side. Next, let's connect all the centers of the circles. It's going to be composed of a big radius, a little radius, another little radius, and a third little radius. And if we darken this line right here, we now have two similar right triangles. And the reason we know they're right triangles is because radii are always at right angles to the tangent lines. Let's copy this down here and let's focus on the triangles. This piece right here is going to be little r plus little r, which is two little r. And this piece right here is going to be big r plus little r. And now we're ready to set up a proportion. Let's do this little triangle first. We're going to do one little r over two little r. And then we can focus on this larger triangle. This piece is big R, and this bottom piece is going to be two little r plus big R plus little r, which is the same thing as big R plus three little r. So the other half of the proportion is going to be big R over big R plus three little r. On this side, the little r and the little r are going to cancel each other out. So that leaves us one half is equal to big R over the quantity big R plus three little r. Next, we can cross multiply. Two times big R is two big R, and then one times this is just gonna be this. Next, we can subtract big R from both sides of the equation. On the left-hand side, two big R minus one big R is one big R. And on the right-hand side, these cancel each other out to give us three little r. So we end up with big R is equal to three little r. Let's copy it down here and let's square both sides. On the left-hand side, big R squared stays as big R squared, but on the right-hand side, this square will distribute to both of these terms, giving us three squared times little r squared. And three squared is equal to nine. Let's copy it down again, and let's multiply both sides by pi. On the left side, we have pi big R squared. And on the right-hand side, we can move this over, and we'll have nine pi little r squared. And we know that pi little r squared is equal to one. So in the place of this pi little r squared, we can plug in one. And this multiply by one isn't doing anything, so we can get rid of it. And we have now solved for pi big r squared. So we can update the question mark up here to be nine. And now we have the answer to the question. I want to know what's the area of the large circle. So that'll be nine units squared. Let's put a box around it. How exciting.